in order to get to, to the community of El Islote, you have to leave the paved road and then take a dirt road that it will be about half hour to get to the lake. From the lake you have the boat ride could be 20 minutes. It's a very remote community. Remember getting off the boat and the first thing we see are these small children with huge smiles, really making us feel welcome. Uh, when we arrived in El Islote, we each had a host family. We had a community meeting. Uh, everyone's on a team mixed with both local Nicaraguans and Solar City employees. Uh, we're learning a lot from them. They're learning a lot from us. We got people on the roof, people on the ground. We got people working on electrical. It's an off-grid system. It's really a, a new challenge for a lot of us. It's been a great learning experience. The community, their enthusiasm and their energy over this has been great. This system is such a big deal for them. I think it's going to open up so many opportunities. Uh, the community leaders were telling us they already have like seven to ten people that are signed up for the adult literacy classes in the evening. There's an amazing feeling of coming here into a place that hasn't had electricity and bringing that. You know, the, the, the grid tied systems that we do in the States for you know, the environmental benefit is wonderful, but there's something totally different and unique about this. I think what Solar City is doing is fantastic, fantastic to involve their employees in projects like this. One person cannot change the world, but a group of people can make a big difference. I 